Hey guys, let's get more news about Warriors, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Warriors showing no interest in Brandon Ingram, Zach Levine. After not acquiring Lori Markkinen from the Jazz, the Warriors are reportedly not currently showing interest in vying for the services of either Brandon Ingram of the Pelicans or Zach Levine of the Bulls, according to the Athletic Shams Charania, Tony Jones, and Anthony Slater. Even though the Warriors didn't land either of their high-profile targets of the offseason after also striking out on Paul George, they aren't panicking. They're reportedly comfortable entering the season with their current 14-man group. Both Ingram and Levine have experienced limited trad markets this offseason, primarily due to their contract situations. Levine has three years and approximately $138 million left on his deal, while Ingram, who is on an expiring $36 million contract, appears to be seeking a lucrative long-term extension. The Warriors lost Clay Thompson this offseason but added to Anthony Melton, Buddy Heald, Kyle Anderson, and Lindy Waters. They also held firm on their refusal to include Brandon Podziemski in any potential trade for Markkanen, so they'll be counting on him and fellow young players Jonathan Kuminga, Moses Moody, and Tracy Jackson Davis to continue to develop. Golden State viewed Markkanen as a terrific fit due to his age and contract situation, but now that he's on track to renegotiate and extend his contract with Utah, they know he'll be unavailable until at least the 2025 offseason and will continue to evaluate their roster, per The Athletic. Owning all but one of their future first-rounders, with the exception of a heavily protected 2030 pick, Alongside their young players makes the Warriors a threat to pull off a blockbuster at any point of the season, and they'll look to be buyers up to the February trade deadline. Until then, the Warriors may seek smaller-scale trades through August and September more actively than what is typical from NBA teams, according to The Athletic's report. Stephen Curry picks Drake over Kendrick Lamar, Indiana, their rap beef. Stephen Curry has picked his side between Drake and Kendrick Lamar over their legendary beef from earlier this year, picking the Toronto superstar. Curry told Joseph Biancon of GQ Sports that he is still a fan of Drake and hasn't let the optics of his feud with Kendrick Lamar get in the way of his fandom. I'm a big Drake guy. I've been for a long time. I think obviously you know what it is for the rap industry to have that, but I still rock with Drake. Absolutely. Absolutely. Bian Khan mentioned that Curry's publicist, who was present for the interview, seemed gun-shy about Curry answering the question, but he still gave an answer when asked. Clearly Curry isn't taking Kendrick Lamar's advice to him when it comes to supporting Drake or maintaining a relationship with him. In Kendrick Lamar's Meet the Grahams, K. warns NBA superstars LeBron James and Stephen Curry to keep the family away in light of some uncomfortable and unsavory accusations he makes at the Toronto native. But Curry wasn't fettered by these comments, continuing to ride for the Six God. I, LeBron, keep the family away. Hey, Curry, keep the family away. The two rap megastars have been embroiled in a very public feud since March of this year, with songs and shots being traded back and forth. Several NBA stars, past and present, have been name-dropped during this exchange, including LeBron James, Stephen Curry, John Stockton, and DeMar DeRozan. DeRozan himself echoed the opposite sentiment, calling Kendrick Lamar his family, despite maintaining his love and admiration for Drake and preserving their friendship from DeRozan's time with the Raptors. At Kendrick's massive Juneteenth concert, several NBA players were spotted, including LeBron James, James Harden, Russell Westbrook, and DeMar DeRozan. Curry, who lives in Oakland, didn't make the trip down to L.A. to support the Compton native. Despite Curry living in California, he has backed Drake over fellow California native Kendrick Lamar in the beef. Drake and Curry have been friends for years, with Drake name-checking Curry in his music on several occasions. While Stephen Curry spoke positively about Drake during this interview, things haven't always been positive between the two. There was clear tension and animosity between them during the 2019 NBA Finals when Curry and the Golden State Warriors were playing the Toronto Raptors, Drake's home franchise. 
Drake had a presence at all the Raptors' home games, sitting courtside and being vocal in his support for the Raptors. But that's not where it ended for Drake's involvement, as he was regularly spotted heckling and talking trash to Warriors players, including Stephen Curry, who got in his face during the game. Drake even went one step further with the Mind Games, wearing a jersey of Stephen's dad, Del Curry, from when he played for the Toronto Raptors. Curry and the Warriors would end up losing to the Raptors in six games, despite Curry's great performances in the series, to win the NBA championship. Clearly, there were no hard feelings between Drake and Curry over the words exchanged. And Curry choosing Drake over Kendrick in the midst of this beef only reaffirms their friendship. Warriors offer for Laurie Markinen revealed. Just as it did with Paul George months prior, the Golden State Warriors' dream of trading for all-star forward Laurie Markkinen has died. While the Warriors had plenty of conversations with the Utah Jazz about the sharpshooting seven-footer, no trade materialized. That led to Markkinen informing the Jazz that he would like to stay with the organization, and now there are reports that an extension exceeding $200 million will be signed any day now. As the rumors for both George and Markkinen heated up, many Warriors fans were left wondering what the team was willing to part with in their pursuit of a star. And now we have some further information there. On Tuesday, The Athletic published a report co-authored by Warriors beat writer Anthony Slater, jazz beat writer Tony Jones, and national reporter Shams Charania, detailing the entire Markkinen situation. Per the report, the Warriors made the most aggressive offer, centered around Moses Moody, multiple first-round picks, pick swaps, and second-rounders, team sources from both sides said. As had been previously reported, Golden State did not want to trade Brandon Podziemski, with the athletic article stating that the team was protective of Podziemski in the Markkinen conversation and a few other league-wide trade proposals this summer. Not surprisingly, the report added that the Jazz wanted Podziemski in any potential deal. It's certainly fair to debate if the Warriors are clinging too tightly to Podziemski. But then again, if they think that he's a special player, a very justified thought, why give up so many years of team control, three of which are very affordable, just to trade for another special player who is owed significantly more money? And of course, just because the Jazz wanted Podziemski doesn't mean that they would have made that trade had Golden State subbed in pods. They might have needed that to start the talks, but needed a lot more to end them. Either way, we have some idea as to what the dubs are willing to part with as they chase a star to share the court with Steph Curry and Draymond Green. It just doesn't seem likely to be enough wherever they look. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Lori Markkinen? Leave your opinion in the comments.